G'day everybody, welcome back to Starfield. We are on the planet Toloman 2. Now, uh, apologies guys, I think I've been calling this place Porama 2 rather than Toloman 2. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're here because we're trying to survey this planet. We're having trouble finding uh, a couple more types of animals here. Uh, but in the meantime, we've just shot up the place here. Uh, this is some abandoned structure with a whole bunch of spacers in it. They're all dead now. <laughs> so <laughs> why don't we why don't we do the usual thing of uh, just looting for a little bit? Uh, there's a bed here. We could probably sleep a tiny little bit just to recover some of our HP there for free. Um, and, you know, I, I should actually be doing that a little bit more often because there are beds uh, in various places and particularly if those beds aren't taken then, you know, uh, shouldn't really be an issue, uh, you know, sleeping in them. Okay, a few creds there. It's good. Um, all right. So just doing a little bit of backtracking here, uh, as I said, we've just completely wiped the place clean of these spacers, so uh, I'm sort of expecting to find a few corpses here and there that we haven't looted. Uh, we'll start with maybe just hanging around this level first and uh, seeing what we can find. Not much in here apparently. Luckily, the layout of uh, a lot of these places uh, make it sort of pretty easy to maybe remember where some of the loot might be. Uh, these two look good for the back line. Um, that looks good for the second line there. But it's the first layer that we're going to have a little bit of trouble with here, so maybe that? Yeah, okay. And we can use a spare uh, one dash here. The one dashes make it a little bit difficult because they could be used anywhere. Almost like a wild card, you know? Um... There we go. I think this is going to work. Hopefully. Um, let's not rush into it though. So yeah, I think we've got everything set here. We've got a one dash for the last line as well, so. Good, not bad, not bad. A whole bunch of creds, I like it. Cryo mine. Oh, there's a lot of mines there. Platinum. Um, yeah, I guess I can take a little bit of platinum. Why not? All right, good. Um, Frenzy Osmium Dagger. That's a lot of creds there. Five thousand. Pretty good. All right. Um, Yeah, sometimes doing some of these things, these random, uh, you know, abandoned locations, can actually pay off quite a bit. Despite them being, you know, uh, repeats. I don't think there's anything here, so... Let's uh, check out the upper level here. Uh, and I do want to try and maybe save up on our grenades a little bit. It's uh, We have been using quite a lot of grenades. Actually, one thing that might be worth looking into is whether or not we can use a different type of grenade. Yeah, okay, so we've got shrapnel grenades at the moment. Maybe if we just go back to frags. Um, that'll be for the best. 
Yeah, there we go. So I've just equipped that. Uh, we've got some sort of ailment here. Hypothermia. Uh, why don't we treat that? Okay. I don't know if that might have been premature, because don't forget we've got scanning to do. And we will actually be out there a little bit more. Alright, upper level is done. Let's just quickly check on the lower level. Hopefully... We find a few additional goodies here. Okay. I think that might be it. Um, there's a fridge there. Nah, okay. Well, um, I think it's time to get back to searching. Now, this is still the planet with all the Terramorphs, guys, so it's uh, it's not the most fun planet to be on. I'll be honest. Um, so definitely want to try and avoid those Terramorphs as much as possible. Um, Deserted relay station. There's a ship landing area there, which I believe we have been to. Um, then there's another structure over that side. And I'm thinking, uh, you know, I don't want to maybe go in a directional, uh, directionless way. Um, so we may as well head to that structure, give us a, uh, a quasi-goal to reach. Yeah, problem is we might actually get hypothermia again if we're not quick about getting to that structure. Oh my god, the traversal in this game is, yeah, kind of frustrating <laughs> at times. <laughs> yeah, and our character doesn't seem to uh, like, jump when I want him to jump. Especially when we're running, when we're trying to do, like, a, a wind-up jump.
Now, uh, considering how we weren't very successful in the previous episode to try and find these last two uh, animals to scan, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to maybe continue um, if we don't find it in this episode because I feel like we've probably had enough uh, exploration by now uh, and I feel like it might be time to move on to other things if we can't complete this. A bit sad though because I do kind of want to get that extra cash. Okay. More of these uh, explosions. Not entirely sure what they're from, as I keep saying in the previous episode. They are kind of annoying though. Yeah, I've got ecliptic mercs. Oh, okay. Well, they've discovered us. I'm not sure what they're fighting. I think it's just like a other random aliens. For a lot of these low-level enemies, we're basically a tank right now. I think that's it. And this is the structure, isn't it? Or... Or is it somewhere else? I think this is it. Radio tower. Doesn't seem to be too much going on here. Um, I think I did see perhaps maybe some kind of crate on the outside though, so just quickly check that. That's actually a lot of stuff. Yeah, let's take everything. Just double checking that there is nothing else. There is something up there be worthwhile checking. I hear something.
I wonder what those things are. Okay, just resources. Alright, not too much going on here. I did hear those noises though, so actually kind of curious. I'm thinking maybe we just go back to the ship, guys, and um, what I might try and do is see if I can find any additional biome that we haven't seen before from the map. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's only two biomes, but potentially maybe we're missing another. Ah, oh, okay, yes. There's a swamp as well. Right, okay, well, we know where to go. Hopefully, this will be the answer for the last two remaining fauna uh, that we Landing can't seem to find. Captain. Just take a quick look at our mass. Okay, mass is looking really oh, horrible, actually. I am satisfied to see that you survived. I'm gonna quickly dump some stuff into storage. Don't know if it might be a good idea to bring one of our companions with us or something like that, but um, resources. We have all of that. And yeah, we've got, I think, probably a few additional weapons that we probably don't need. So as soon as we find somewhere to sell, we'll do that. Hello, Captain. Okay. Let's hope that we can find what we're looking for. And let's hope that we don't cross too many Terramorphs. Yeah, there's a lot of shaking here without any of the, um, the noises though. Which is kind of strange. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Oh yes, yes, uh, we got Terramorphs there. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about the Terramorphs, to be honest. Another structure over that side. So we'll try and visit these two places. I'm pretty sure all of the flying things are just the one species.
Okay, got pirates here. Um, if we're dealing with pirates, though, we're going to have to kill all of them. Make sure that we don't actually get a, uh, a bounty. I wonder what's detecting us. Uh, maybe these aliens that are actually flying are detecting us. Okay, there is a way in over there. I don't know if we only have the one pirate on the outside. Okay, I don't see anyone else on the outside here. Uh, perhaps maybe we want to work our way inside. Though I know this is probably not going to help us find the two fauna that we're trying to scan, but... Um, it'd still be kind of nice to see what loot we can find down here. Okay, we are detected already. They are still okay with our presence because obviously we are part of the uh, part of the crew. But we do need to kill all of them. Looking for the next mark. Does the UC really think this death scares us? I suppose we could just go through here and Nobody not worry about the pirates completely. If we really wanted to. Yeah, but that wouldn't be fun, would it? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We are detected. Oh, okay. Guys. Just sitting there. <laughs> There we go. He hasn't noticed his friend being dead yet.
Okay, he's just sitting there. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Okay, all right, there's a whole bunch more here. Um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just had some kind of an issue here with my PC. Is that to just cut that video and uh, just do another one. Not really too far though. Um, still taking out these pirates one by one. I think these are the last two, potentially. Oh my god. There we go. Uh, did we actually get rid of the bounty, though? I'm not entirely sure. Because normally... We would get rid of the bounty once everyone's dead. Unless everyone's not dead. Continue looting a little bit. Interesting. This take us anywhere? Oh wow. All right. It's not expecting that. I bet you there's been tons of these things in the past and I've just not realized.
Uh, I'm going to use an auto slot, guys. We may as well. Thousand creds. Yeah, I suppose that's all right. Rotobrow. Oh, we've got like plenty of squalls now. Haven't exactly used even a single one. Cell key. All right, all right. Uh, I did not see a cell though. Good. Take all of that. So, a cell. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to find a cell. Ah, okay, right. Well, this doesn't exactly look like a prison cell to me, but... Storage checklist. The following items are property of the security team. No unauthorized use under any circumstances. All items must be checked out prior to use and returned by the end of the day. AA-99 assault rifle, Combatech solstice, and UC combat knives. Okay. Um... I mean, these are pretty standard stuff. Um, so I might not worry about getting all of those things. Alright, have we looted this entire area? I think we may have. Um, Professional calibrated solstice. Mm -hmm. Peak performance 2 permanently adds 5% to melee weapon critical damage. Well, we're not exactly going for a melee build, are we? So. But it's nice to have.
Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we still have that bounty on our heads, guys. Um, but I might actually go to a bounty clearing station as soon as we can. Uh, and just definitely pay that up. Um, if we do come across more pirates, obviously they're gonna attack us on sight, potentially, so... Uh, still not finding what we need to find, so... It is a big shame, isn't it? Uh, maybe let's go towards these wind turbines, see if we can get lucky there. Uh, or perhaps maybe we need to... Like, go to another section of swamps. I don't know, I thought it would be pretty easy to find what we're looking for, considering we've never been to the swamps before on this planet. Okay. Whole lot of nothing. I mean, we could go towards the life signs if we wanted to. There's another structure there. Terramorphs. I wonder if we get to discover why the Terramorphs are on more than one, uh, more than one world, and why they appear on settled systems. I'm sure we'll probably find out as we progress more of the, uh, the Terramorph and the UC Vanguard, um, Storyline. What the hell is that? I don't know if it's worth going that way, guys. Um, maybe it's just a, a randomly generated... Uh, area. Yeah, it's just another structure. Alright, uh, let's head back to the ship. Or, actually, I don't have to do that, don't I? Um, I can literally just pick another place to go to. So, mountains, mountains. That's another swampy area. Why don't we travel there? Yeah, again, I feel like I'm missing something here. Like, is there a specific place that I need to go to to try and find these last two things to scan, or what's the deal? Uh, abandoned mine over there. Uh, I don't think the abandoned mines have anything within them to scan. Aside from maybe minerals and stuff.
Ah, yes. Good old Terramorph. Got a few of them, actually. Uh, definitely don't want to proceed further and tangle with them, because we all know what that's like. I think at some point we'll be able to take on Terramorphs pretty easily, but at the moment they are a bit chunky, and we end up expending so much of our uh, our ammo. Alright, well, I think we're going to leave this mission incomplete for the time being, guys, and uh, we're going to have to maybe come back to it at some point. I might even take uh, this offline and sort of see uh, where we need to go to scan certain things. Uh, maybe there might be stuff uh, on the good old internets. But uh, I think it's time for us to move on. And um, yeah, I was sort of taking a little bit of a break here from meeting Marco uh, Graziani. So um, we could do that, but I'm a little bit concerned about our inventory space. So perhaps maybe we might want to go to somewhere uh, where we can actually you know, sell stuff. Um, we may as well go to Sidonia. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Okay, let's land. So we're gonna do a few things here. We'll uh, try to sell stuff as much as possible. And uh, we'll also clear our bounty. Alright, so I think it's mostly going to be weapons. Novalite. Bashing Novalite. Um, we don't really often get into bashing uh, range, do we? A normal Novalite there, which does 12 physical, 38 energy. Yeah, it's about the same. This has a few better stats, though. So, maybe we'll keep that and we'll get rid of the old Novalite. I wonder if it might not be a bad idea for us to use the Equinox a little bit. It's been a while. Alright, uh, yeah, and we've got plenty of laser cartridges and stuff like that, right? So maybe I'll do Equinox in slot 2. Maybe we can uh, give some of our other weapons a little bit of a break. Just so that we can, you know, accumulate a little bit more ammo before starting to use them again. Alright, welcome back to Sidonia. Let's actually jump into the bar. We'll clear our bounty for a second here. Crimson Fleet, 30,000 creds. 
Damn. Hmm, okay. So, all of that money that we just saved up was sort of for nothing. We've still got a hundred thousand creds. Uh, I might rethink our relationship with the uh, Crimson Fleet here. So if we go to um, places where there are Crimson Back Fleet about, Supreme. maybe it's probably a better idea if we just leave Pardon. them alone. I know you posted that drawn in my bar. Leave it. Brightens up the place. Just ask next time, will you? Ah, oh, okay. It, uh, this is about the uh, the space frogs. <laughs> hey, those are a work of art. Uh, I'd like a drink. What's your poison? Uh, my poison is. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what'll it be? Is selling all of our stuff that we don't need. Ah, okay, we can't actually sell, uh, weapons and stuff. My Don't bad. Stranger. Uh, well, we'll go and have a chat with the, uh, with the trade authority. Hey, it's my personal safe. We got a lot. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Cool. That's what we do here. Um, this has served us really, really well recently. Well, not just recently, but like for many, many episodes. So I am reluctant to sell it. Let's keep it. Just in case. 137, that's still pretty rough. What is the uh, problem here? Okay, maybe that needs to go. And yeah, we've got a few packs here. Assisted carry crew. Uh, drain 75% less O2 when running while encumbered. Okay, interesting. But I don't think we'll keep it though. Don't aim to be encumbered very much. Um... Uh, 117. Okay, that is not bad. Probably have a few things that we might want to try and get rid of. Maybe mines and stuff, actually. How's it going? Can I help you? Sounds like a plan. Oh no, guys, <laughs> guys, oh, I've, uh, I've made the wrong, th uh, did the wrong thing. I, uh, instead of selling, I bought a whole bunch of stuff. I thought things looked a little bit weird. Um, there we go. Stun mine, Tesla pylon. Interesting. But anyway, our, uh, weight looks Decent, decent. See you around. All right. Yeah. So, messing with the Crimson Fleet is probably not the best idea. So, uh, I think the only time we're going to, uh, you know, mess with the Crimson Fleet further is if we completely exhaust the Crimson Fleet storyline, uh, and if it turns out. After everything, you know, shakes down, we are no longer welcomed by the Frin uh, Crimson Fleet, then maybe, uh, you know, we can just keep fighting them. Or, uh, it could be that we do end up being friends, but then, you know, we just turn our backs on the Crimson Fleet, uh, and maybe we just never ever pay the bounty. <laughs> That, that could be one way of doing Captain, it. It is pleasant because I don't think the Crimson Fleet actually have like unique uh, ship parts, do they? 
we could probably still get the same ship parts from the key by uh, going to other star yards or other, you know, spaceports. I assume. I assume. Red Apogee. Surrounded by stars and the vastness of... Okay, so time to go back to our deputy mission here. So uh, we're going to meet Marco Graziani. So let's make our way there. List. We've dealt with list colonies before, right? Um, sounds like you're in a tough spot. Listen, we have kids listening, so uh, let's just say affirmative. Very much affirmative. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. Uh, I guess we might have 20 iron? You're in luck, I have the iron you need. That should do us. Thank you. And this should cover the iron, and then some. We'll be heading out hopefully shortly. Okay, 1500 creds. That's good. It'll just put a, a very, very small dent in the uh, bounty that we've just paid. But, uh, anyway, let's land on this planet, planet Kodos. And apparently the ship that we're supposed to meet is here. It's called the Fortuna. So let's go ahead and meet Marco. Uh, maybe I need to get sourced. Try and uh, be charismatic. Or, we might be just preparing ourselves for a bit of a shootout here. So, if that's the case, I probably do want a companion with me. Uh, who's around that I can just fetch and, and take with me? Yes. Uh, where is Andresia? All oh, right, she's gone back to the lodge already. My bad. Uh, maybe we want to just grab someone else. Barrett, perhaps. It's been a while since we've traveled with Barrett. Where is he, though? Barrett. Barrett. Where the bloody hell are you, mate? Maybe down here. God damn it, Barrett. I know he's here because he always you talks to us on the mega, like the megaphone. It's like Christmas every day. Um, maybe up above. Okay, 
I have no idea where Barrett is. So, because he's not around, we may as well take one of these guys. Can I help? Sarah, let's go out there together. Yes, yes, absolutely. All right, cool. Gotta move on. You know, I could take Vasco as well, because uh, I haven't exactly traveled with Vasco even longer, I feel. But uh, anyway, let's see what's gonna happen. Got our Equinox at the ready. Uh, let's have a... I reckon we'll have a Velocity here. I need to buy a little bit more of a supply of Velocity soon. Okay, close quarters. Let's uh, just ready up a shotgun just in case. Look at that, he's got a nice looking ship, doesn't he? Bus is in the back. Well, one thing's certain, Graziani certainly isn't afraid to flaunt his wealth. Doesn't look like I can actually take any of this stuff. He's in the back, apparently. This music is gonna put me to sleep. First Cav Veteran. Right, these are the first, uh, mercenaries or something like that. Interesting. We haven't exactly fought these guys before, have we? Wow, okay, the security in this place. Um, well, this way, I guess. Some of these pieces on display are incredible. They belong in a museum. Oh, no. That, that'd be... Uh, lock picking. There he is. Marco. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Your organization? You've heard of the first, I take it. I'm not just a member, I also help to fund the outfit through a network of independent traders. Of course, illicit goods are the most lucrative, so there is a constant need for skilled pilots. I've got some questions about the first. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, the degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess. I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent the deputy instead of a full-fledged ranger. I'm willing to bet this deputy can handle whatever you intend to throw in our path. And who might you be? Sarah. Sarah Morgan. It's a pleasure to welcome you aboard, Sarah. It's clear you are a woman of refinement as well as beauty. How about we skip the compliments and move things along, shall we? Your deputy friend here could have a bright future, assuming we all keep our heads. Why would the Major want a confrontation? To settle accounts. Major Hull served with distinction during the Colony War. But the leaders of the Free Star Collective, they turn on him. In his eyes, the Rangers are enforcers for a corrupt Council of Governors. That makes you his enemy. As for me, I didn't see any profit in nursing that grudge. 
I prefer to focus on the future. You mentioned the Major. Is that who runs the first? That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, and I've chosen mine. I want details of the first operations, including who hired you. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. Alright, that works for me. Good. Then we are agreed. How interesting. I wasn't aware that accepting bribes was one of the tenets that Freestar Rangers live by. It'd be a shame if an encrypted slate like this one somehow got into the wrong hands. Wouldn't it? Now, before you complain, remember that all I promised was to point you in the right direction. You're free to stay as long as you like. It's not often I get to entertain such a distinguished guest. Yeah. Alright, so we got the slate. Uh, I wasn't really prepared to go in full guns blazing there. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't really get to persuade uh, people. Uh, he's got just like heaps of cred sticks lying about. Um, he does have a swanky ship though. But yeah, I'm, I'm sort of hoping that by... I know Sarah didn't like that, which is really unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't have brought her because I, I just brought her because maybe we might have a shootout immediately uh, but that's okay we got the slate and I'm sort of hoping that perhaps maybe that might open up a few more uh, quest lines for us because now I'm not entirely sure uh, which side is better you know the first or the rangers but We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. It'd be nice to keep the Fortuna, though, as a ship if we, you know, could manage to do that at some point. Because the interior is very swanky. I wish there was a way to actually build our ship to look like that, you know, uh, in, in terms of the interior. Captain, greetings. Alright, uh... Let's get ourselves back to Killer City. Sorry, guys. There we go. So, yeah, to think that uh, a lot of these first mercenaries are kind of operating under the Rangers' noses. Because, I mean, the ship is literally just parked so close by. <laughs> I mean, granted, it is a separate you know, stellar body, but still. Okay, so let's get this slate handed over. Got a call, someone's power kept. Sam has told me so many stories about Aquila City. <laughs> I feel as though I've lived here all my life. We 
got a lot of bars in the city. All class joints. It's really an honor to be able to help out. All right, Probably Alex, here's a new slate for you. She's probably right. Hey there, deputy. How goes the hunt for the first? So far, so good. Good, good. If you ask me, I don't think they stand a chance. You're like an Ashta creeping silently through the high grass, waiting for your chance to pounce, and then boom, down they'll go. So, did you get any more of those encrypted slates? Because let me tell you, I am so close. Of course. Don't say you doubted me now. Who, me? Doubt you? Not a chance, deputy. I knew you were a natural the moment I laid eyes on you. 9,300 creds, that's really nice. Uh, definitely needed that. Okay, so... Next up... Come in, deputy. Take a seat. Apparently we need to have a chat with, uh... All of our colleagues here. Where's Sarah? Okay. Seems to be stuck. Maybe she's just gonna hang around there, outside of the room. <laughs> Let's have a chat with these guys. Sit down. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. Is there anything we could have done? Not really, no. We can't be everywhere at once. Right now, our best hope to stop them is you. Hmm. That's terrible. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding? It's going well. Once Alex cracks their encryption, we could learn a lot. That's assuming he finds something useful. Otherwise, you'll be no better off than when you started. It must be very easy for you to sit back and criticize when we've been doing all of the field work. I've done my part. Besides, this is ranger business, so why don't you keep your mouth shut? Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival, and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. I didn't like him much, but I did what I had to. Duty has to come before personal feelings. I'm glad you understand that. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. The informant was innocent. I had to help. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. It was the best option I had at the time. Putting the lives of others ahead of our own comes with the job. I'm sure it was a tough call, but I think it was the right one. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Given a choice between words and weapons, he chose words. Yeah, he always did like to hear himself talk. Seemed to think he was the smartest guy in the room. Don't know about that. But at least he had the sense to cooperate. 
What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. She didn't have much time left, so she wanted to end things on her terms. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. What do you know about this mech factory? Never saw it myself, but I know it's a large facility, mostly underground. If the first are occupying it, They'll probably have set up defensive positions throughout the complex. I'll go and check it out. The facility was on Arcturus 2. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If I seem strict, it's because I'm protecting the integrity of the Freestar Rangers. Oh, uh, that got a little bit heated between, uh... Sarah and Emma. <laughs> anyway. I'm not entirely sure if I should have uh, kept Sarah with us for that meeting, but anyway. There's a, an interesting interaction there. Uh, I should really be wearing my uh, my ranger gear, shouldn't I? But, uh, we'll do that when we get Those back to the ship. Right, so the next order of things really is to travel to Arcturus 2 and, and see if we can confront the first mercenary group. Um, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the end of the, the deputy uh, quest line. But I'm just sort of thinking whether or not we want to, you know, do other stuff before we uh, we try and confront this major hall. But anyway, let us firstly go back to our ship. Lifting off right away, or do you need And let's take a look at our list of missions here. So we did accept uh, to become, I guess, a sort of corporate spy with Ryujin. That might be interesting to look into. Otherwise, uh, I think it's been a while since we've done work for Constellation. So I'm thinking of maybe doing some Constellation stuff uh, and maybe starting with picking up a new power uh, and then maybe continuing with further into the unknown because there is the matter of the Starborn, right? Uh, so I'm guessing Vlad's going to give us the location of potentially another artifact in which perhaps maybe we might have a, a situation where we tangle with, uh, with the Starborn and we might actually see them for the first time. So yeah, let's tag this one here, Power From Beyond. Uh, so follow the distortions on the scanner on Mer 2. So we'll get to that uh, when we come back in the next episode guys but i reckon i am going to be signing off here hopefully this episode was i don't know not too slow i know there was the i guess first uh half or maybe even three quarters of the episode where we were again trying to look for the stuff to scan on toleman 2 but yeah didn't really find any success did we so again, I'll uh, I'll do some research offline and see what I can find about Toleman 2 and the scanning, uh, and maybe we'll come back to it. But for now, hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.